Okay, you guys. Today's t-shirt effect, simple as You make your text, you turn it into an outline, and then you use the warp tool to transform it in. Simple. Smash the like button. But I want to take it a step further. I'm about to transform it and take it to the next. And I want you guys to know how to do this because I have a feeling that this technique will be the upgrade and replacement of these graphic tees. All of these tees. And you guys are about to be the pioneers of this effect. So of course you already liked the video, but please subscribe and bail me so you know when my next tutorial come out. And as always, everything that I create will be listed on Patreon for download. Don't forget to pick yours up. With that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, you guys, so I created one just for the men, you know what I'm saying? So I have one already done and it's ready for download. You guys can pick that up on Patreon, it's there. But I wanna make one just for women, right? So I wanna show you guys how I did this. The first thing we have to do is we need to establish the text. So on a new layer, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in the word sis and then scale it up. This seems like a word that I, I pretty much hear a lot of women saying nowadays, the sis. So what we want to do is we want to make a quick vector-like glitch effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this word into a shape, go into type, down to create outlines, and this is already into a shape. I want to go ahead and hit command C and then command F, and then holding down command, I want to hit the bracket sign to go ahead and send that copy that I just created to the back. Now I can tab over just a little bit to create one side, right? I'm gonna go ahead and make this one, this pink here. Now I wanna hit Command F again. I wanna hit Command Brackets one more time and then I wanna bring that one to the right and we're gonna turn this one into maybe this blue here. So now we have kind of like a false glitch effect going on, which is pretty cool. I like the way it looks, but we wanna hang on to at least this sis right here. So I'm gonna hit Command C and then on a new layer, I wanna hit Command F and just turn that off. Now with the one that's already here, I wanna turn that into like a yellow. So now the effect is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and basically just copy this, turn it off, and then on a new layer, just drop that in by hitting Command F. That's gonna paste it into place for you guys. What I wanna do now is I wanna take the warp tool and I wanna go ahead and just pull down some of these points. Now it's gonna take a little while because we got a lot of points to pull down. They only go so far. But as we're pulling down, I wanna make sure that I'm pulling out some of those pinks and those blues as well because that's the effect that we're trying to get. If we don't pull those out, it's not gonna work out too well. Okay, so we got this right here. That looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this icon here, hit Command C. I wanna lock down that layer 18 and up under it, I wanna make layer 19. I wanna hit Command F here just to bring that in. With this, I wanna continue to pull it down. I just wanted to get a little bit more of that variation going because it has to look a certain way. You know, it needs to look like it's a little bit oozing, you know, for us to get what we need out of it. So keep pulling it down until we get to a point that looks a little bit like this so now that we're here i can go ahead and turn back on layer 18 and i can put those into one group and now that we have layer 19 now we're ready to do the effect so i'm just gonna go across the top like this and we can go across the bottom like so we can continue to pull this down if we need to but we just want to make sure that we're getting a nice distort going as you can see because we got more points it goes down just a little bit further, a little bit more better, right? And this is what we're left with. I think that looks pretty nice. So we're gonna close down this layer. We're also gonna copy it, and then we're gonna put that on a new layer as well. Hit Command F. Now I wanna lock this layer down. I'm gonna bring in a new layer real quick for the background, because I wanna see what we're doing. So if I put this on maybe like a black, we can see we got this really cool effect going on. It's not done yet, but it's getting there, right? I wanna make sure there's a stroke on this that's gonna match that Funko Pop that I'm gonna drop in here. So I'm gonna take layer 21 real quick and I'm gonna put a stroke on it. Maybe a stroke of like eight. And then we're gonna turn off the colors as well. That looks pretty good. I like what we got going on here. But I wanna go ahead and lock this layer down and then bring in layer 20 again. And I wanna click on this yellow, just the one on the top. And I wanna turn that into a black, something like this. And this is how we get that effect where it's kind of like black, but it's bringing in that like yellow down there. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop in my Funko Pop character. Once again, you can find this Funko Pop character on my Patreon account. It is ready for you guys to go. I have a pack of them, actually. But we're going to go ahead and size this down. 
and put her where she kind of needs to be where it's fitting right now because this came in as a png there is some things that i have to do to fix it out so it can match the vectors the first thing i want to do is copy it and put it on its own layer now with the original image selected i'm just gonna go into image trace hit ok it's gonna turn it into a vector except it's gonna do it in black and white if i bring up this dialog right here i can bring the mode back into color ignore the whites and then hit expand now this is a vector shape we can do whatever we want with it and it's not going to lose any type of pixelation now when i hover over this click on this icon here and hit command c then hit command f and then send that one to the back now i want to push this over to the left maybe two or three points and i want to turn the entire color into pink now i want to hit command f again i want to go back into that group and pull it over to the right and then turn this one into that blue and that looks pretty good but with that final move that's basically it you guys so this is a fun way to kind of like stand out like i said it's going to replace something soon and you guys are going to pioneer this one in i know you are so if you like this one go ahead and pick it up from patreon because it's already there to go but with that being said you guys I have to get up out of here so stay amazing stay creative above all else stay awesome <laughs>